Good afternoon everybody, how you all doing? Yeah, just another little ride out today. Uh, I'll tell you one thing I've noticed today is the bloody weather. The weather has dropped down to about 11 degrees today. It's not cold still, but I think it was a bit frosty this morning. Um, yeah, that's something you definitely noticed this morning. Uh, today is the, the drop in temperature. But uh, nevertheless, nice to get out. So, lockdown tomorrow, so I don't, know, I don't think I'm going to get a chance to get out much more, unfortunately. So, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, I must say you can definitely notice a difference in temperature today. It's kind of my fault, really, because I've, I've only got a T-shirt on underneath. <laughs> that was a bit of a bad decision, that was. A bit cold as well around the old knackers. <laughs> where are we? Oh, we're in... Uh, oh, I'm trying to think where we are. Mind the old drain cover there? Oh, Ludham. Ludham, yeah. Yeah, we've got, we got the lockdown coming. What? We're all sick and tired of hearing the word lockdown, but hopefully it's gonna, gonna work. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Thought I'd just make the most and come out. Road's a little bit slippy today. Had the old traction control light flickering a little bit here and there. And we're on what near enough quite a low set in there as well, so just goes to show the roads are greasy. I think it was frosty this morning. We're, 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 at, we're at that time of the year, aren't we? So if you do venture out on your bikes, just cool. need to be seriously careful. Lots of greasy drain covers as well. Not that the drain covers come out once a year, they're always there, but <laughs> you get a bit of dampness on them, you know about it when you open up the throttle. Bit of a biker's worst enemy is the old drain covers. <laughs> as long as you ride sensible, that's what it's all about, really. Go crazy. Oh dear, someone's got a garden fire going on there. <coughs> Bloody hell. <coughs> now I was saying about the roads being slippy and that, you've got to bear in mind that your tyres, motorcycle tyres work, work when they're nice and warm and they've warmed up. But they never tend to warm up in the winter. Really. And they're not as sticky. So they're, they're, they're very hard, you know, they're not softened up. So you lose a lot, not only do you lose a lot of grip there with the, with the greasy road surface, you should lose it with the tyre, the, the state of the tyre as well. Potter Hyam. Latham's a Potter Hyam. All their Christmas trees out, although no one can go and buy them, as of tomorrow, I don't think. Water level's very high. Another thing you have to be really careful of is the, your braking. Give yourself plenty of time when you you know for braking and what have you. Don't sort of slam on the anchors. You end up locking up one of your wheels and I've done it before. Very easy to you have to be ever so gentle on your brakes. It's not a riding lesson <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I'm just giving you a few tips. I have to kind of re like remind myself about all of this. It's probably why I'm talking about it, but it's so easy. Like you see some brake lights come on and you think, oh shit, hard on the not hard on the brakes, but you don't have to, you don't have to go that that hard on the brakes. And you, I know we've got ABS and all 
on most bikes nowadays but you know even still even still can't stress enough on on road surfaces and what have you just gently squeeze the brakes I think it also it also pays to kind of I mean I'm 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 a sod for not doing this but it also pays to you know to make sure you wrap up well I've not I'm not fortunate enough to have heated grips but you can you can add heated grips not a problem but I, I don't really do that much riding in the winter to to kind of warrant it it'd be very nice though nevertheless but yeah if you if you, you kind of wrap up warm and you can wear like base layers there's some cracking base layers out there like thermals you stick them on especially if you're a commuter you wrap up warm nothing worse than freezing when you're riding a bike you can also if you haven't already got one you can you can install a pin lock in your visor it's very rare this visor steams up so that that helps a lot in the winter <clears throat> stick another pair of socks on <laughs> it's giving you a few little rider tips there for the winter most of you already know but if you're an all round all year round biker then you'll, you'll you'll know exactly what i mean here we're, we're, we're only in what we in november now and we're still in double figures during the day you temperature wise which is pretty good for uh, for november but once it starts dropping that drops like a stone it's like there was ice on the car this morning on the screen of the car i noticed so once it starts <coughs> dropping off very important as well to check your pressures your tire pressures make sure they're they're up to up to pressure check the the tread on your tires as well a lot of tires well most tires have got wear indicators so if you're flush with a wear indicator keep an eye on them yeah if you're flush with the wear indicator it's time to swap them out normally make sure your chain is oiled the best time to oil a chain most chains are o-ring type chains which means they've got o-rings sandwiched between the the links so the best time to to oil them is get a bit of walk get a bit of heat into the chain go out for a little ride and then when you get back in just you know you can clean the chain and just put some i tend to use gear oil like light gear oil with a little paintbrush and an aerosol lid just put a little bit of oil in an aerosol lid and put a light film on you don't need loads you don't need loads at all keep your chain nice and oiled check all your lights as well make sure your lights are working Now this is two year old now this bike so it's not during MOT until next this time next year so it doesn't really get checked out other than by myself things like indicator bulbs and just give it a general once over 360 really <coughs> But the most important ones are like your tyre pressures. <laughs> very noticeable sometimes if your tyre pressures are that low. It's very noticeable. After you've put pressure in, you can you know you can notice a difference. <laughs> also in the summer, you get the low sun which can be quite dazzling that's where the, i know smoke visors are a good idea but you also have to bear in mind that if you're out after sort of half three four o'clock you know, and you're so you're knocking off work and riding home on your bike that 
you can have your smoke visor on and it's no good in the dark but yeah anyway it's just a few little tips so let me know what you think in the comments if it's been worthwhile or not and uh like i say take care and uh hope you've enjoyed another little video speak to you soon